When I started the project, I knew that I wanted to have an airplane as a house, and I wanted to incorporate pieces of the airplane that already exists, such as the sink and the sections that are for clothes and things like that. So I wanted to make sure that it still had the look and feel of it, but I wanted the conveniences of living like it was a house. So putting in a queen size bed, putting in a regular standard electrical. We make first class for all the kids. This is for my daughter. She's 15, she loves it. She comes over and enjoys the, the view, the solitude, relaxation, and of course she does get to Snapchat on the phones. All of the panels, I kept them and they all open. There's 26 windows on each side, so it's a, it's a fun thing in the morning. Go open up 26 windows. Hey, welcome to Project Freedom. Come on in, I'll show you how to live in a plain house today. We have the formal dining room, <laughs> and I say that loosely, and behind us there is the formal living room, family room, and then of course the office uh, in the back. My son, he comes over occasionally. He is uh, a lot older now, and so the internet here is not quite as fast, so he only comes every now and then. We put a full-size master bath shower, hot and cold water, full-size toilet, and all the amenities. Some towels, no problem. They're right here in the overhead bins, towels, and bedding, just like you have in regular airplanes. Come on in. This is the master suite of first class in the airplane. We have a queen-size bed with overhead bins, full-size TV, and of course you have your, your lighting. As I went through this, I knew that I had to take the ceiling out because the ceiling was too low. Uh, you get a claustrophobic feeling. So when I removed the ceiling and I removed the insulation that they had and put in the foam, it looked better. When I was a kid, about 13 or so, there was a show called The Magician with Bill Bixby who came on TV and he would come in and he would use his magical skills to solve difficult crimes for the police. Then he'd drive his Corvette into the back of his Boeing and he'd fly off to the next city and do it all over again. And I said, someday, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And uh, that day came and I started the project. But this airplane here, this one here has the cockpit and I love it. And it's my entertainment airplane. And this one will have, behind it, will have a full theater. Behind that, an arts and crafts and a music room. So when I retire, I'll have things to do and of course, that will be the fun things to do. I have a new saying, and that is that you arrive as guests and you depart as friends. 